how to upload a project to GitHub. In this video, we will create a new local project on my computer. Then we'll go to github.com and create a new user if needed. After creating a new user, we can create a new repository. Usually, one repository stores the code of one project you have on your local computer. So, let's start with creating a new local project on my computer. Go to the terminal and create a new folder. Make dear my local project. This will create a new folder called my local project. And now let's use Visual Studio Code to open the new project. Open. Now let's add a new folder in our new project called src. And let's add a new file in it. Let's call it file.js for JavaScript. And we can add some content to this file. const a equals hello world. And we'll save this file. Now let's go to github.com. And as we said, let's create a new user if needed. After you created a new user in GitHub, you must set an SSH connection from your computer to your new GitHub user. For that, in your browser, open a new tab and search for GitHub SSH. Then go to the first link, github.com, connecting to GitHub with SSH. The two relevant articles for you are generating a new SSH key and adding it to the SSH agent and adding a new SSH key to your GitHub account. Follow the instructions in each article per your operating system, Mac or Windows. After that, you can create a new repository in your new GitHub user. Now, the next step is to create a new repository. In github.com, click on the, on the green button for new. Here, we'll create a new repository. And let's give the repository the name of my GitHub project. And we can choose if you want the repository to be public or private. For now, we'll keep it public and we'll click on Create Repository. Now that we have created a new repository in GitHub, let's follow the instructions presented to us in order to upload our local project to the new repository we just created. For that, you'll have to have Git installed on your computer so you can use it in the terminal. First, we'll create a new file called readme.md. GitHub looks in your project for a file called readme.md in order to present the content of this file as a long description of your project. Let's start with copying the first instruction and paste it in a terminal in Visual Studio Code. We'll create a new terminal, terminal, new terminal, and we'll paste the code. By running this command, we created a new file called readme.md with this content. For the next step, we want to create a new local repository in our new local project. So we'll run git init. For the next step, we want to add not only the readme.md file, but all of the code that we have. For that, we'll copy the command, and instead of readme.md, we'll just use dot. You can also, also use the source control pane in Visual Studio Code. So you can either run git add dot, or choose all of the files you can mark multiple with holding the command button in your keyboard and then pressing the plus button. Okay. Now for the next step, we'll commit the new code. Git commit hyphen M and we'll call it first commit, but you can name the commit however you would like to. Okay. Now for the next step, we'll name our branch main. We can see at the bottom left that the name of the branch is main. This would be the main branch in your repository. In one repository, you can have multiple branches. And now we'll want to add an, a new remote to your local Git repository. So your local computer, your local project would know to connect to the new repository we created on GitHub. Now for the last command, we want to push our code from our local project to our new repository on GitHub. Git push hyphen new origin main. Tada, we uploaded the code in our local project to our new repository on GitHub. We'll go to our new repository and refresh it. 
now we can see that we have uploaded all of our files on in our local project to GitHub. And as we said earlier, GitHub looks for a file called readme.md to present the content of this file as a long description of your repository. Now, for the last part of this video, I want to show you how you can control which files you want to upload to GitHub and which ones you want to just keep in your local project. If these are, for example, build files or any output files or even node models that you usually do not upload to GitHub. For that, let's go to our local project, go to the Explorer pane, and add a new file called dot git ignore. Git looks for this specific file and reads its content in order to decide which code we want to upload and which one or which code we don't want to. So whatever we will write in this file will be excluded, ignored by Git and will never be uploaded to our project. So let's create a new folder and call it build. And we do not want any files within the build folder to be uploaded to our GitHub project. We'll create a new file. Do not upload this file.js and we'll call it const b type. Let's close it. And now we want to write build in our git ignore file. This would say again to git, do not upload any files in the build folder. Also, you can see that the build folder and its file within it turned into gray and not white as the rest of the files. That green file means that this is a new file that we want to add to our new repository in GitHub. So now let's go to our source control in VS Code. And this is a little bit easier than using the terminal in order to upload new code. So in the source code pane, we'll choose our file and press plus give it a, a, a commit message, use git ignore file and commit it. Then we can click on sim changes. Okay. Okay, and if we'll refresh our repository, we see that we added the git ignore file as we wanted, but not the build folder, just like we wanted. And that's it. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.